When you drive out of my local area, you get outside the town, there's a hill that goes down towards the dual carriageway and then you're away and out of town. Now, there's a Facebook group that oversees this particular area that leaves cryptic messages all the time about a certain type of motor vehicle with a flap at the back that like sitting at the bottom of that hill. You get the idea? Yes. Well, uh, last I knew it was actually unlawful or illegal to knowingly report the presence of one of these vehicles in these places. Well, you no longer have to worry about that sort of thing. I'll tell you why next. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright, I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments, everything's alright with you. And uh, you're going to have a good week, let me know what you're up to and that you're all okay. Well, this applies to you really, if you drive or if you've been uh, subject to any of those three point of fines or anything like that. I was of course referring to speed camera vans. Uh, we, we have probably two or three places that I can think of off the top of my head where they hang around... Uh, you know, around my local area and just outside the town as well, trying to, uh, you know, get people. I, I heard a story the other day where one of my friends got a ticket because he was doing 70 mile an hour on a dual carriageway in what they classed as a minibus, which of course is 60 miles an hour, I think, might even be 50. And he said, hang on a minute, I drive an MPV, not a minibus. And there was a massive argument and he, he got off because they... Uh, didn't classify the, uh, the vehicle in the right way. Well, they're usually clearly marked, aren't they? Well, not anymore, not anymore. What they're talking about doing is introducing a load of stealth cams, they call it. These will be unmarked speed camera vans covered totally in grey. Very inconspicuous, apart from the little flappy thing at the back with the camera sticking out the arse end of it. You won't know they're there until you're right on top of them. Now, these are currently being trialled in Northamptonshire. Northamptonshire. I can't even blooming well say it. Uh, yeah, Northamptonshire. I get it right. And if successful there, uh, we can see them being rolled out countrywide. Now, the argument is, and I can see the sense in it, there's like a yo-yo effect, isn't there? If you know that there's a speed camera van somewhere close, you're going to slow down. You're going to obey the speed, and then as soon as you pass it, you're going to tow it again. I think that's the rationale they're using for this. Um, I mean, I can see all the Magna Carta don't pay any fines until you've been convicted comments right now, but this is the reality of the situation. This is where we are. These things are going to get rolled out, so watch out for it. And they're saying that if you assume that every van has got a speed camera in the back of it, you're going to obey the laws. Okay, it might cut down on accidents and fatalities, but it... It's another thing that's making it more difficult for us lowly drivers, in my opinion. And when's it going to stop? I don't think it is. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll put a link to the article in the description below as well so you can read it. And I'll see you shortly with one more. Doodaloo.